What's up, guys? Another episode of Pixel Effect here. Dark Visor. <clears throat> um, hope you guys are having a good afternoon. I'm kind of happy I'm finally getting on the ball with my videos. Um, hope I can get them out more often, you know. But today's video is about a short little notice from WaveForward. They are working on another game. I'm surprised WaveForward is pushing out a lot of games. Now, granted, I'm not sure how big this game is going to be. Um, it may not be that big, it may be like a side mini game because they're working on Shantae 5, they have uh, River City Girls, now they have this new game called Vitamin Connection and it looks interesting, it's cute, two characters, a boy and a girl and this is what the description says, prepare for a big dose of excitement delivered in a microscopic package with Vitamin Connection for Nintendo Switch, developed by Independent game studio WayForward and published phys physically by Limited Run Games, this Switch exclusive one or two player action title will deliver thrills, laughs, and varied gameplay unlike anything else on the system. In Vitamin Connection, players assume the roles of Vital Boy or Mina Girl, nice play on names WayForward, <laughs> and take control of the Mina School capsule ship to, to battle evil bacteria from within living organisms. By blasting subatomic foes with your vitamin beam, utilizing a special claw tool, and navigating maze-like stages, you'll save the members of the Sable family, including the dog, okay, we're getting serious, from a variety of hazardous and increasingly wacky predicaments. Okay, that was all one sentence. Each level also includes sub-games featuring rhythm challenges, pong-like reflex tests, and more. While the entire game can be played solo, Vitamin Connection also includes an innovative uh, astromedical local two-player co-op mode in which one player controls the capsule ship's movement and shooting while the other handles the ship's rotation and aiming. Coronate, coronate, <clears throat> sorry. I was gonna make a comment, but I was trying to stop myself. My body kept trying to go with it. Coordination and the connection between players are essential for success. Vitamin Connection will initially be available exclusively as a physical release published by Limited Run Games, followed by a digital release by WayForward. Additional details about the pre-order window, pricing, and release date will be announced at a later time. For more info, stay tuned to WayForward and LimitedRunGames.com. Uh, key features, you know I just read them all. Blast, fact, blast bacteria with your vitamin beam across six colorful stages. Overcome sub games featuring precision, twisting, rhythm, action, and more. Vibrant visuals with a retro futuristic aesthetic. Uniquely innovative Joy-Con controls in HD rumble. Play solo or coordinate with a friend in two-player mode and it's exclusive for Switch. Um, and you know, it's published by Limited Runs Way Forward, um, developers Way Forward, release dates to be decided, platform switch, one to two players, and price to be determined. Honestly, if it's gonna be digital, the price is probably not gonna be more than $20. For a six stage game, you know, even with the little mini games they say are gonna be in the game, I don't see them price this more than 20. At the most, they'll say 30 for a physical. Trying to think, yeah. <clears throat> At the most for a physical, I'm saying 30, and um, for a digital, maybe 20, because I just don't see them. Like for, like I said, a six stage game, they're not going to price it that much, honestly. Because I mean, they they won't do that. I know they won't. Um, but it seems interesting. It's gonna, like a cute little short game, um, you know. So we'll have to see when they're going to announce this. Um, it probably. Unless it's close to being finished, I want to say maybe October or maybe late September when it comes out because River City Girls is really close to coming out. And I doubt they're going to try to push this out before it or right after it. If anything, like I said, late September, early October, maybe, since it's not a very big game. And hopefully we get some Shantae news soon. 
but it looks cute. Um, no trailer or anything yet that I've seen so far. This, everything I've read is from the uh, press release. I got it at work. I honestly didn't think they were gonna release anything. Like I thought this game was gonna be smaller than it actually is because I didn't get a press release at work. But then when I got home, I saw one pop up. I'm like, okay. So yeah, I can tell they're putting their full effort behind it. But yeah, like I said, it probably won't be, it's not gonna be the biggest game in the world. So like I said, it's probably gonna be 20. Physical, it's gonna be 30 more than likely. But um, it sounds cute, it looks cute. More than likely I will buy it. I will not play two players because um, that just sounds hectic. Trying to coordinate driving and shooting with a friend? No, unless it's like a couch co-op or something. That may work, but online? I don't know if it's gonna have online, they didn't say that. If it had online, I'm just gonna say no. No, 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 no. You know, but um, that's pretty much it. Everything in the email from the press release, um, that's pretty much it. It just says it's exclusive for Switch and for immediate release, the information. So yeah, everything I read is pretty much everything in the game. So now we just gotta wait and hopefully hear something soon. Um, but I'm surprised Wait For is Wayford has been on the ball lately. Um, very surprised by this. They have been on the ball releasing this stuff. So they're doing a good job. You know, and knowing Wayford, the game's gonna be good because that I know of, Wayford hasn't ever really made a bad game. You know, um, yeah, I can't really think of anything Wayford has done bad, honestly. You know, some companies have their highs and lows, like say Capcom or Sega. But I can't think of way for having a low, honestly. So, yeah. But for now, that's it, guys. Like I said, it was a short little information email about this new game. I had saw it on the Twitter, and I just wanted to do a video since I got a press release for this information. So yeah. Now we just gotta wait and see when it's gonna come out. But um, that's it for now. Nothing else to add, and I will talk to you guys later. Probably tomorrow, cause uh, Need for Speed information comes out tomorrow. So. Until then, guys, I'll see you. There goes my phone. Oh, boy. All right. See you, guys.